How's the digging going over here? Uh, very well. Like you said, we ought to find something right here. And look at these pieces. I think they're all from the same dinosaur, that Euopolycephalus that you found the other day. I swear, you must be able to smell fossils. No wonder they call you Mr. Bone. <laughs> Seventy-five million years ago, when dinosaurs walked on our planet, southern Alberta was a subtropical paradise of towering redwoods and giant ferns. Today, fertile plains suddenly drop away into a world of multi-hued canyons and wind-shaped hoodoos. Spanning east from Drumheller to the Saskatchewan border and south to the United States, this region is known as Canadian Badlands. It is home to the largest deposits of dinosaur bones in the world. Today we are going to hike and explore Dinosaur Provincial Park, which is also a UNESCO heritage site and located two hours drive east of Calgary or 48 kilometers northeast of Brooks. When visiting Dinosaur Provincial Park, you should stop first at the Visitor Center, where you can find more about the park itself and trails, buy some gifts and souvenirs, and tour an interactive exhibit gallery for a small fee. Before hiking, make sure to read all safety tips, because you are in a rattlesnake country. Besides poisonous snakes, this park is inhabited by scorpions and black widow spiders. Yes, this is not Australia, but we have scorpions and black widow spiders in Canadian badlands. If you need to choose a symbol for the badlands, it has to be the eye-catching hoodoo. The Indians believed that the mysterious hoodoos were sleeping giants standing at guard. The real origin and demise of the hoodoos happens by the magic of the water erosion. The first trail we are going to explore today is Badlands Trail. On this trail, we will encounter the most spectacular badlands found in Canada. While walking here, try to imagine following. Large vegetation of ferns, evergreens and sycamores, giant redwood trees, winding rivers, cattail marshes, warm and humid conditions with seasonal monsoons, occasional showers of volcanic ash. That was the scene 75 million years ago when Badlands were born. Now back to reality, and you can see Moon and Mars like landscape, where temperatures have been known to reach 47 degrees Celsius, which is around 120 degrees Fahrenheit 
in shade during summer. The eroding slopes of the badlands seem as lifeless as the moon. Can anything survive among these crusty, dry rock open to blistering sun in summer and frigid winter winds? The answer is yes. If you look down, you might see beetles and ants digging tunnels in loose sandstone. Plants seem to grow directly out of stone. Look up and you might see golden eagle, parks, falcons and blue mountain birds. Deer, rabbits, coyotes, snakes, scorpions, spiders and many other animals are calling this park their home. All these reddish brown stones are iron stone, however only 3% of the rock is iron. When iron is exposed to the air, it starts to rust just like an old car. Rock with iron is much harder and more resistant to erosion. This type of rock is forming most of the hoodoo cup rocks. You can find many preserved fossils in iron stone. The light-colored layers seen here are sandstone. If we could go back to the time when they were first deposited, we would be standing on a beach of a deep river. At some point in time, this area was covered with glaciers. About 14,000 years ago the glaciers melted. The incredible force of the meltwater swept away the till in this valley and exposed soft rock from 75 million years ago. The meltwater channel can still be seen as Red Deer River Valley. If you look at the slopes around us, you can see small channels in the rock. Today, wetlands are eroding about 10 times faster than rockies, at about 4 mm per year. The Red Deer River moves about 2 million sediments from badlands downstream towards Saskatchewan each year. Our next trail to explore is Fossil Hunter Trail. Dinosaurs inhabited our planet for over 160 million years, and then they suddenly disappeared, about 65 million years ago. The first discoveries of fossils in the park were by the natives of Blackfoot, who carried them for good luck in hunting buffalo. First scientifically recorded discoveries in Canada were made in 1884 by Joseph Poor Tyrell. The Red Deer River Valley made the headlines in the newspaper all over the world with the exceptional dinosaur finds during the Great Canadian Dinosaur Rush from 
Our last shale for today is Cottonwood Shale. We are about to encounter the largest assortment of plants and wildlife in the prairies, riverside habitat. We are walking on floodplain of the Red Deer River. It looks dry now, but it isn't always like this. Over the centuries, river has changed its course, wandering back and forth between the escarpments of badlands on either side of this valley. This magnificent tree has been estimated to be over 200 years old. It was likely just a sapling when first white men arrived in Alberta. The Plains Indians suspected the spirit of ancient looking cottonwoods such as these. They used them as burial places, putting their dead on platforms in these trees. If you're visiting Alberta, trip to Badlands is a must. Plan to spend few days visiting Dinosaur Provincial Park, Gramhella, Writing on the Stone Provincial Park, and Cypress Hill Provincial Park. You can camp in all these parks, and on a clear night, you can have a nice view of our Milky Way. We will be posting more videos about exploring Canadian badlands. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe to our channel.